and he did not notice that the earth is not flat and he did not notice that the space is empty and he did not notice how the earth shape is and nobody saw him and he saw even prophets there but Islam says they are not there there is only one person there is a life that is Isa hmm? but you are right you know only my friend they believe me and you are including every time I go live you come here every time I go live you make a comment you are my fan you are addicted the flying donkey is a miracle okay that's a wonderful what is the reason for a miracle is it to prove that a person is sent by God how come nobody saw it do you have one witness they saw the flying donkey let me tell you something I you know yesterday I was in Japan okay um, there's a not a donkey it was a camel actually he stopped by he said hey CP come on don't go live I was going to go live he said camel what's wrong with you he said let us go eat some Japanese food sushi you know and you know I have a weakness for sushi I said no 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 they said don't say the word again otherwise I will go with you the idiot he now he knew my weakness he said sushi so I left and you know nobody of my neighbors by the way saw the camel who fly and I went to Japan and we came back everybody was asleep you know everybody was asleep so when your prophet he did the miracle isn't it the Quran says Muhammad have zero miracle okay hold on let me show you something the the verse speaking about Muhammad going to heaven where we can find it in the Quran Armada can we find one verse in the Quran saying Muhammad he went to heaven it's a challenge well, let's fix it the Muslims what is the verse which says that Allah he sent Muhammad to heaven where we can find it which verse which verse nowhere nowhere the verse in the front of us it says he went to the farther mosque which is supposedly Al-Aqsa that's it where is the heaven which one is more important journey to go up all the way to the seven heaven or to go to Jerusalem nowhere it mentioned that he went to heaven the verse in the front of you are you there armada galaxy you see I choose this verse because your name is galaxy obviously you are a specialist what is the verse where is the story so this is mentioned in hadith but is not mentioned in the Quran maybe Allah he forgot that he took him to heaven ah. Allah himself to himself you know what I am a member of Hamas which one is more important taking him taking him up here which is not far you know to heaven not far seven heaven the top the top you know not far or the trip to Al-Aqsa brother so Allah he said oh well, come on Al-Aqsa is more important so he dropped the part where Allah he took him to heaven hmm. Nasi is saying what okay hold on Nasi is saying uh, uh, yeah this is an Indonesian comment oh this guy he looks so good man you're what happened I think you did, you did you went to the wrong saloon uh, Nasi uh, Goring is saying okay uh, princess of God book uh, Salah kill it to la history had you got a point there you know honestly you got a point if you think about it from like your point of view and from between your teeth you might be able to see <laughs> The journey of Muhammad and nobody notice. <laughs> oh boy. Fried rice. I cannot believe it. I you know what? 
the Quran says there are some verses in the Quran that are clear and some verses are not and this is one of them fried rice in the Quran you are right I, I, you got the point you got the point there yeah remember when we asked this kid Abdullah we say we ask him about he says I will answer you go to the Quran uh, you know chapter number three you will see uh, you know the Quran says uh, there is a you know there's some verses in the Quran or uh, 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 you know in in, in in what in in Guinness what in, in big in, ambiguous what that is I don't know the word and there is some verses are clear <laughs> so now any anything you show them they will say the Quran says there is verses in the Quran nobody knows what they mean say <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> and you know, we have to be honest here. The Muslims are worried that I'm wasting my time. But Muslims, what's your problem? I'm wasting my time, but Muslims leave Islam, as you see. My videos are hurting your cult badly, my friend. My books, you have no idea. Oh. I don't want to take calls really you know not not in the mood to take calls today maybe next time uh, there is Islamic Jannah is not heaven but uh, witchcraft uh, coven and that's reason why all things um, okay well there's no, no this is not witchcraft and there's no heaven in Islam it's just a uh, fiction story to deceive people you know like if you ask yourself okay somebody want to take me to heaven I mean can we accept even that this is to be heaven look at this hmm. which heaven Muhammad he mentioned the word heaven in many places many many places but if you read the description of the heaven you would die laughing which heaven Muhammad even he promised every Muslim to heaven you will be wearing bracelet you will wear a green silk Look, look, look at this description as an example. Let me show you. This is Allah describing the heaven. Read carefully. And he who produced gardens, this is heaven, the word garden, translation for heaven, Jannat. And and realized, and date palm, there's a date palm, brother, in the heaven. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, date palm. Hmm. And crops of different shape and taste and olive brother olives olives and the uh, pomegranate po pomegranate what the heck even pomegranate is there there's what and similar kind you know like you know some they say look like same some they don't look the same in taste like, what do you want more this is a god Describing his grocery store in Allah heaven. Pom grenades. This is this is heaven. Where is the strawberry? Where is I mean there is a million uh, go to Indonesia man. That's it. This is all the fruit we have. Palm date, crops, olive, and pomegranate. I'm truly satisfied. Uh, and now look, and the, from the cattle. What 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 does have to do with heaven? You just said you are talking about heaven here. And this is in the heaven too. Brother, and you will have cattle there, oh, like camel, etc. Some they are small, some they are unable to carry. 
like sheep and goat, brother. Wow. Uh -huh. What is this? What, 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 what? What happened here? What? 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 And eight pairs of sheep, male and female. Uh, 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 and goats. Uh, two male and female. Say, has he forbidden two males or two females? Anyone knows what he's talking about? I mean, somebody help, 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 I need help. What the heck is that? The Muslims, the Quran is so clear. Brother, what is this? Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? Everything created from water. Hmm? A desert man, you know, he look around him. Okay, well, if there's no water, everything is either dead. So he's he started throwing poo poo, you know. Hmm. Any Muhammadan have any comment? No? Are we out of customers today? No comment? You want Dorian? Amar Rabbi Aman. We can add it to the list and we send it to Prophet Muhammad. You know? But the most important thing actually in heaven for those who they are from San Francisco maybe. You know, some men they like to wear a bracelet. Uh, you will wear bracelet. Hmm? Look at this. Look, 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 look. Chapter 18, verse number 31. The top luxury ever. Those for them will be the Eden paradise. Wherein rivers flow underneath of them. Their end will be adorned with a bracelet of gold. <laughs> I'm really convinced that this is God, that God, he promised me bracelet from gold. And by the way, different verse, he says silver. He forgot what he said. Hmm? And then he continues saying, and they will wear a green garment. I love a green garment, man. Green garment. By the way, it doesn't say only green garment. It says, min sundusin. Hey, Muslims, what sundus mean? And that silk, man, it's finally, I mean, those poor people, they dream to have, you know, smooth clothing on their body. And now this God is a promised them green silk. So imagine everybody in heaven for eternity wearing green. The wife is wearing green. The husband is wearing green. Everybody wearing green. The ground is a green. The wall is, no, actually the wall is not and the ground is not. Muhammad he described the earth, the ground, as covered by pearls and, ju and, and rubies. And the walls are made from one brick of gold and one brick of silver. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? This is heaven? This is what we will get? This is what you are dying for? That's it? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of a promise here. But all of them, you can find them in any open buffet and even better. You know, and what is the value of gold? What is the value of gold in heaven? But why he is promising us gold? What gold? Any Muslim can tell me? What is, what is it specifically interesting about gold 
You know, in this earth, if we have too much gold, like if we walk in the street, we find gold, gold, gold will lose the value. Imagine if we have gold the same as we have sand. Nobody will pick it up. Nobody will buy it, and nobody will sell it. Maybe they will sell it to make it, uh, if it's useful for making concrete. But what value of gold? We are in heaven. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? He have this agreement about what we are saying. See the comment section. They move fast. Which hadith Muhammad he says he is here to convert and kill? Well, many. And this is a few of them. Just pick up whatever you want. Um, you know, scrolling the screen. Anytime you want to walk, you will find something you see in the screen. Just take a screenshot and type exactly a few words in Google and you will find them. Or you can type the hadith number. Hmm? And even Muhammad, he made it so clear that he been victorious by terror. He is the first terrorist. See, I've been victorious by terror. All right, anything else? Any Muhammadan have an objection before we go? Now, after we finish, do we see the Muslims? They are heroes in the in the, in the comment section. Yeah, actually, uh, before we go, there's a Muhammad, and he said, huh, "In the Bible, God he walk. <laughs> so your God is a spirit, and he walk." <laughs> do spirit have feet, my Oh, that's deep. Yeah, do we believe in Trinity? We believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, and that means God is can do whatever He want. He can come to you as a spirit, invisible. He can come to you, visible, as He, as Jesus did. And God the Father, which no one can see and live. And this is what Muhammad copied from the Bible. Nobody can see God and live, for His glory is beyond your ability. But what about your prophet? He said. The following let us find he said don't beat the man in his face because Allah he created Adam in his image your God Allah is a man the Muslim here they will say to you no 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 oh, no CP it doesn't say that CP no it does this is exactly what it says in the Old Testament. Just this part. God created Adam in his image. So Muhammad saying to you, don't beat a man in his face. Why? Because you are insulting the face of God. For God, he created Adam in his image. And you see the word his? Even you Muslims, you make it big, his. His doesn't go to Adam, his goes back to Allah, supposedly. And this is what the Muslims always try to deny. Muhammad is under the influence of the Christian and the Jews, but he is mixed up, he's messed up. Hmm? You know, if, if God cannot walk, then what God can do? I mean, a cat can walk, why God will not be able to, to walk? Hmm?
they say to you how Jesus is God and he ate well if God can if God will lose his divine because he ate that's mean he cannot be God that's mean anything he do he can lose his uh, you know stand or his uh, whatever yeah with Muhammad here he copy he copy what is in the Bible you know he copy what is in the Bible and he put it in his mouth and then now that make Muhammad look stupid and then the Muslims look CP in his own image isn't it mean that a human like Allah it's simple it is simple logic what's what is, what is the logic explain <laughs> guys he solved the problem Abdul he solved the problem did you see it do you see how he solved it <laughs> Abdul why you cannot beat the man in his face why what what your answer have to do with CP in his own image okay it's not means that Allah a human look like Allah would hmm? He is forbidding you from beating the face of a human being, human being like you, right? Why? Because Allah created Adam in his image. If you say to me, this is the image of Adam, that would be, it's be more funny because this will be a wrong Arabic. Because Adam in his image, all of us, we knew that we have the image of Adam, so what? And so if if we can't be the face of uh, someone look like Adam or look can, can we beat his chest his chest look like Adam too <laughs> can we cut his neck his, his neck look like Adam too I mean this is stupidity I mean, everything we have look like Adam the verse here saying his image this is why you see you Muslims you make the word his big go back to Allah the Muslim they try to make it oh this is about Adam but all of us, we knew where this is coming from. Hmm. Oh, hold on. CP, if I said I draw a picture in my own picture, that mean picture of me. Exactly. Allah said, I made Adam in my image. <laughs> in my picture. <laughs> what he made he made the image actually even the Quran used the word sawwara sawwara mean picture sawwara you know you Muslims are idiot honestly you don't know your religion you do not know what to do. you copy from us and you make fun and you know let us make surah Chapter 3, verse number 6. It is he who saw we rakum. He made them in images. As an image in the in your womb. He is the one who make your images. Let us translate some, you know. Here we go. Do you see it? Here it says sheep, but this word sawara. Sawara, sawara mean image. He picture you in your mother womb hmm? Sura mean an image uh, you need to ask yourself why we cannot beat a man in his face just if, if he look like Adam well all of him look like Adam then we cannot beat him anywhere if this is a reason you know, his foot looked like foot of Adam. His, you know, so what? What the point? Uh, any other question? Yeah, I mean, they cut the uh, hand, feet, Muhammad, he put nails in the eyes. So what difference is going to make? Which one is uh, more insulting? Which one is more insulting? Hitting a person in his face or 
cutting his hands and whip, whipping his back and his, you know. Have you watched of Mufti saying Bukhari is wrong? Well, I have to agree, Bukhari is wrong. Let us throw it in the garbage. <laughs> then the same Mufti, you go to his website, you will see 90% of it is coming from Bukhari. <laughs> They're mental. Ask him a question. Do you, do you remember the guy, he's, he called himself Ultimate Fart? Do you remember him? This guy, he don't accept Hadith. He don't accept Bukhari. He don't accept anything. So I said to him, what's the name of your prophet? What his father name? He said, Abdullah. He said, who his wife? He said, Aisha. He said, where do you get this from? <laughs> he said, from the books of history. <laughs> the coward, he screamed, he don't accept Hadith. But without Hadith, you do not know who is Muhammad. You know nothing about him. Nothing. Zero. But because they are ashamed of what their prophet, you know, their prophet, he is like a twilight seat. He cannot keep, it's, it keep coming. It's like a blocked one. The sewage is coming. So they are trying to put their foot in the twilight seat to stop the poopoo coming out. Finally, they give up. They said, you know what? We can't block it. Let us deny it. Hmm? Can you explain the hadith about Muhammad and garbage? My friend, I challenged the Muslim to, to find me the hadith. Where is the hadith? It does not exist. It's a lie. If a Muslim, he mentioned this to you, tell him where we can find the hadith. We cannot find it. Go ahead. <laughs> and this is the funny thing about them. They fabricate a story. It's not even there. And suddenly it's authentic. And the one is there, it's not authentic. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I, re I remember once uh, there, was, there was a sheikh. He, he teach religion, you know, in school. So he said, uh, Be a patient like the Prophet. You know, the student, they were complaining about the classroom is not clean. He said, the prophet, there was a Jew, he used to throw his garbage. And uh, as I said, okay, sir, we can, where we can find this hadith? He said, you cannot find it, don't look for it. <laughs> so how you found it? <laughs> there is a, a Jew, he used, Muhammad, he killed all the Jews. What Jews? What, what the heck? I mean, he killed all the Jews and the Jew is throwing garbage at Muhammad? Man. Hmm. Yeah. How many verses in the Quran which is being abrogated? Allah knows best. <laughs> Because, you know, uh, everyone will give you a different answer for this question. It's, you know, like the, 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 this answer is like the bones of a human being. You know, human being, you know, we say human being, right? Like we think that all of us, we have the same number of bones. No, we don't. Every human being have different bones. And even his age, based on the age, your bones number change. I'm talking about, uh, you know, like because they connect when you are a baby, you have way more bones and then by time they connect together and they became one bones they solid and even that when a certain age like even if you are 70 80 still every individual have different number of bones here the muslim they will say to you every one of them he said this is abrogated this is not abrogated this is only personal opinion there's nowhere muhammad told them what is abrogated nowhere and as an example not only this when, when the hadith says that uh, Allah he sent uh, the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult, correct? And then that one was abrogated by five time. Okay, where we can find the five time? For adult. This 
this is what it says in the hadith it's abrogated in the explanation it was abrogated by five okay where is the five they don't even have what is abrogated I mean how you can abrogate something by something does not exist and how you can abrogate something not exist by something does not exist because the first one is not exist and the second one is not exist Where we can find them? And look here. It says in this hadith that it was sent down in the Quran was ten known suckling made marriage and lawful. Where we can find those things? Where? There is no such a thing. Even the Muslims they believe that the suckling for adult will not make a person and lawful still a man he can have sex with a woman and then they were abrogated by five okay show me the five and then when the messenger died those we were in the Quran so who is the one who took them off you see the Muslim they say to you it's abrogated by recitation 